Do you want to land a six-figure cloud job, but you're not sure which role to aim for? Should you start as a cloud engineer, a solutions architect, a DevOps engineer, or move into the fast-growing world of AI engineering in the cloud? Now, which one of these roles is gonna grow the fastest and best suit your skills? So I'm gonna help answer all of those questions in this video. I'm Neil Davis and I'm the founder of Digital Cloud Training and I've worked in the IT and cloud industry for over 25 years and I've helped over a million students develop careers in cloud. At Digital Cloud Training, we focus on hands-on learning, not just theory, because it's the practical element that really lands you the jobs today. And in our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp, we focus on all of these roles. So we have pathways for cloud engineering, for cloud architecture, for DevOps engineering, and for cloud AI engineers as well. Now let's start with a description of what each of these roles actually are and what you might do if you land one of these roles. Cloud engineers are the builders, so they design, deploy, and manage and operate the infrastructure on which applications actually run. They might use services like Amazon EC2, S3, VPC, RDS, DynamoDB, and many, many more. Cloud engineers will often use infrastructure as code tools like AWS CloudFormation or Terraform to automatically deploy infrastructure into the cloud. They're also responsible for monitoring the systems and ensuring performance and security. Think of cloud engineers as the foundational experts. So they're setting up all of the infrastructure and dependencies that the applications need to run in the cloud and then managing it and monitoring it. Cloud architects focus more on the big picture. These are usually more senior roles because they require a bit more experience in the industry before you can make design decisions. Architects design end-to-end -end solutions that meet the goals of the customer. So business goals, technical requirements, and they've got to consider things like like performance, reliability, security, and also making sure that what they deploy is cost effective. Now architects are a bit less about the actual building and more about making those design decisions, working with different stakeholders in the business and developing the high level blueprints for the infrastructure that needs to be deployed. DevOps engineers are all about automation. They manage the entire software development lifecycle, integrating development, with operations to automatically deploy code. They use things like continuous integration and continuous delivery, CICD tools. And there's often some scripting, some monitoring and various operational activities that they need to perform as well. If you like automating things, writing scripts and making sure that systems run smoothly, this might be the role for you. Lastly, we have cloud AI engineers. Cloud AI engineers focus on building, training and deploying machine learning models and integrating AI capabilities into applications. So here they're using tools like in the AWS cloud, Amazon SageMaker and Amazon Bedrock, for example. A cloud AI engineer will combine data science knowledge with machine learning, AI and cloud platform skills so that they can build intelligent AI enabled applications like real time fraud detection systems, chatbots or recommendation engines for a couple of examples. AI engineers will often collaborate with data scientists, software developers, and handle all the model versioning, deployment pipelines, and cloud-based inference scaling. Now this role is growing fast as more and more companies really want AI-enabled applications, and they mostly move to the cloud in order to deploy these capabilities. They need engineers who can actually deploy these types of systems to meet their requirements and get them production ready in the cloud. So what are the core skills you're gonna need for each of these roles? Cloud engineers are gonna need very strong knowledge of at least one cloud platform. So AWS or Google Cloud Platform or Microsoft Azure, those are the three most popular with AWS by far the market leader. You'll need some scripting knowledge like Python and Bash. You'll need to understand Linux. You'll need to be able to work with Terraform and CloudFormation to deploy infrastructure as code and you'll need some skills in monitoring, troubleshooting, and automation tools as well. For cloud architects, it's important to have a very deep understanding of cloud services. You need to be able to understand the trade-offs between different services and design decisions so that you can reach the best architecture for a customer's needs. You'll also need strong communication skills and stakeholder management capabilities. 
So here it's less about building the actual infrastructure and more about making sure that the infrastructure design is the best architecture for the customer's requirements. DevOps engineers need skills in CI-CD tools. Think Jenkins, GitHub Actions, and AWS Code Pipeline. Containerization services like Docker, Kubernetes, and Amazon ECS. And scripting and automation tools. DevOps engineers have a strong focus on release management and automation. That's their primary responsibility. As a cloud AI engineer, you'll need to know Python. It's one of the most popular languages used in cloud in general, but also very much in machine learning. You'll need to understand some machine learning libraries like Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. And of course, cloud services like on AWS, SageMaker, and Bedrock being two of the most prominent. You'll need to understand data pre-processing, model training, and ML ops practices as well. So moving on to the big question, which of these roles is gonna pay you the most? On average, cloud architects and cloud AI engineers sit at the top of the salary ladder. Cloud engineers come close behind, especially if you have strong coding or security skills. And DevOps engineers are also well-paid, driven by a strong need for automation at scale. Now let's get into some real numbers. So according to Indeed, the average salary for DevOps engineers in the US is 127,000 US dollars a year. For cloud engineers, it's over 130,000. And for cloud architects, it's over 147,000 a year. Now for cloud AI engineers, there's a big jump up to 163,000 a year. So that really shows the huge demand for cloud AI engineers in the industry today. Now keep watching to the end and I'll give you my recommendation on which role to get started with. In terms of career paths, cloud engineers might move into architecture or cloud security as they develop more experience. DevOps engineers might move to senior DevOps or DevOps architects or site reliability engineers or CTOs. And cloud architects may move into more senior architecture roles, maybe enterprise architecture or cloud consulting. Cloud AI engineers may progress into roles like machine learning architects, ML ops leads, or AI platform engineers. So which role is gonna suit you the best? If you love building infrastructure, become a cloud engineer. If you love the design element and the interpersonal skills and communication with other people, then cloud architecture is a great role for you. If you love automation and software development, then maybe a DevOps engineer role is good for you. And if you love data and machine learning and artificial intelligence, then become a cloud AI engineer. Now, if you're ready to launch your cloud career, look up our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp. There is a link in the description of this video. We train you for real cloud roles. It's super hands-on. You get to work with other people in group settings, live instruction. You get excellent mentorship. And this is where you're really gonna build the skills that you need to actually land a job today because stifications alone are just not gonna cut it. So check the link in the description of this video and see why thousands of students have trusted us with their cloud journeys. If you're not sure which role to start with, start with the cloud engineer first. This is gonna give you a really rounded skill set, and there's a lot of overlap with the other roles as well. So you're gonna be building up some experience and then perhaps later on you can move more into architecture or DevOps or AI engineering, but you'll have a really good foundational knowledge and hands-on experience. So that's a really good role to get into. And it's definitely one that's growing in popularity with lots of job opportunities today. So thanks for watching and please let me know in the comments which role are you leaning more towards? Cloud engineer, architect, DevOps engineer, or AI engineer? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss future videos.